Okay, so hi everybody, I'm Paula Martindale. I'm from the University of Chester. I'm the Senior Ops Manager. Um, so the university for the past five years uh, has looked at everything when we're doing, coming to sustainability, when we're buying stuff, we're putting sustainability at the heart of everything we do. Um, and looking at sourcing, looking at ethical sourcing and making sure that we're having the least impact uh, on the environment and, and the planet. Now, Kat did mention the project and she did come to us in 2015. Um, and I was probably one of the people that did know quite a lot about um, palm oil. And the reason I know that is my son is doing his PhD thesis on Sumatran rainforests and the influence, I've got to read this out because you'll go mad if I don't get it right. <laughs> the influence of forest density on the orangutan nesting in the North Sumatran rainforest. Uh, so he's, for the last three years, he's been doing his thesis on the deforestation and how the uh, counting the nest sites in the Sumatran North uh, Sumatran rainforest. Now, um, the actual site he was on, um, some of the site uh, was um, forest that had been used for palm oil and then reforested. The other bit of the site was 40 year old forest uh, that had been deforested before and logged before. Now, um, some of these pictures, and I'll explain some of these pictures. So to just put it into perspective, he said to me the first time he went, so every year he'd go out, he would go out and do his project, he'd go out into the rainforest, uh, he'd land in Medan, he'd get a, a plane to Medan, uh, he'd get a four hour bus ride, he'd then get on a uh, boat for an hour, and then he'd get on a motorbike for an hour and travel into the rainforest. Um, so he's done this now for the last three years and he's just literally writing up his thesis. Um, so the first year was great, uh, you know, come back, loads of adventures, things like that. Second year come back and said to me, oh mum, something's really worrying. These are his pictures. So these are his orangutans and this is his rainforest when he went back the second time. So he travelled on the motorbike for an hour. So um, let's put it into perspective. So from Medan to the site was 150 kilometers, 93 miles. Um, he would travel by motorbike for roughly 20 miles, about an hour, going 15 to 20 miles. For 15 to 20 miles, this is all he saw. The year before, it was forest. So that, to me, put in perspective on what was happening. Um, so when Kat came to me and started explaining about palm oil, I knew it. I could tell her, oh yeah, do you know what's happening? This is what's happening. So it was really, you know, quite a personal um, thing that I wanted to do. Um, so, you know, our food mission is that the university leads by example, sustainability, the heart of decision. Um, so what, when Cat first came, I looked at it, I thought, and I took it back to the team and I thought, are we going to be able to do this? Over the first three, four months, I thought, it's, this is a huge job. This is massive. You know, everybody went round the cupboards. Oh, it's in this, it's in this, it's in this, it's in this. And I was like, calm down, let's take it bit by bit by bit. So I said, you know, yeah, it is in a lot of things, but let's have a look at what it's in. And let's have a look at what we can do. So we told the suppliers what we're going to do. Hey, this is what we're going to do. Can you help us? So they were great, you know, Kat gave us the tools, she gave us the questionnaires, she gave us the audits. We then, what we did then, was we said to them, look, can you give us some evidence? Can you give us your sustainability policy? Have you got a sustainability pro policy? 
can you give me some of your certification? Can you prove to me that your products are sustainable? Now, I then went through all our auditing and said to the teams, right, you go off and look at the cakes, you go off and look at breads, you and the chefs, can you go and have a look at, you know, the frozen? It's even in chicken burgers, because it's in the bread or it's in the batter. So, you know, it's looking at the sauces, looking at the stocks. So he's just splitting it down into groups and bit by bit is quite easy. Lots and lots of the suppliers are fantastic. They really do want to help. Bid food, you can go on, you can go down and it will actually have, um, similar to um, the allergens, it will have thing on there. Uh, and you can search under there and it will tell you what's sustainable, what's not sustainable. Uh, one supplier, I said to them, you've got a product um, is it sustainable? They come back, no, it's not sustainable. They took it off their product list. They, they deleted it. We've got an in-house bakery. We found that one of the fudge toppings had palm oil that wasn't sustainable. We replaced it for another. So it's not demonising, and I think that's what happens. People sort of demonise and say, no palm oil, let's get rid of it. Oh, we can't have it. And, and all it is, is you need to be buying sustainable. You need to take a healthy approach and look at what you've got in your cupboards and just think sensibly. It's not throwing everything away, it's just coming up with better ideas. Um, so in 2017, in June, we, got, we became a champion and we were, we were a gold star champion. Um, but even now, it, you continuously audit. Uh, I don't know whether anybody knows, but in, in the summer, Nestle, and didn't renew their certification. Um, what happened was, all of a sudden, social media, oh my God, Chester Zoo, uh, Chester University's got Kit Kats on their hospitality trays, and they've got Nescafe. They're lying, they're not, you know, they're not responsible. So I had to explain to them, it's not that they're not responsible. Nestle have got to renew the certification. We, re we took out the products and said to Nestle, as soon as you can prove to us you've got your certification, then we will put your products back on. As long as you're talking to the suppliers and explaining to them what you're doing, they're happy to work with you. It's not having uh, an approach where it's a blanket ban on palm oil, it's just having a, so, uh, you know, a responsible approach. That's me. Thank you. Thank you. Short and sweet.